once again I have here a Samsung um, I got a broken screen let's put it let's put it in the old laptop and I think this is like an year old laptop it's pretty good computer only thing is uh, it got he said he he grabbed the the computer by the screen like this and and carry him around that's, that's why I said it, br it busted out so like you can see it <laughs> all wavy <laughs> touch it and it's like water that's the the 80s color Anyway, so this is a Samsung R480. Samsung R480. Pretty cool laptop. I like it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna more or less show you guys how to remove the screen. So. So let's do it. So first, of course, you uh, before you do anything in the computer, you know, you remove the battery. Even though this battery sucks, it's pretty much like a loose charge. Uh, anyway, there's nothing I can do about that. That's not why the laptop is here. It is dirty like hell, but. Nothing I can do either. I'll probably I'll clean it up later for him. Like I always do. I always like to clean it. More or less, I already clean. I already like every time I get a laptop, I <coughs> at least like spray some alcohol on the paper and goes over. You know, just to disinfect a little bit. And like I already did with this one, but you know, this type, this back cover over here is a fingerprint magnet so so this laptop has a pretty obviously screws like yeah, they are all under the rubber cover that you'll see it so should be pretty easy so I hope this is, this is a an okay angle okay you just pull the the cover out I even pull this one like hard like no tomorrow let's pull them slowly but don't worry they will come out they have a little glue under it so later on if you if you won't glue back just put some glue or some tape under I don't know just don't put super glue because you never know you might you might need to remove them and if you super glue like I saw it before I had a laptop here once with the all the rubber covers it was like super glued from someone did the owner never never said nothing about it but now you can see the screws out here Pretty little screws. If you if you're working with this, make sure you have a place for you to put the screws. Because usually people lose some of the screws. So many times I got laptops that from ten screws he had probably like four holding the whole thing together. Usually when I got it like this, I usually have some laptop for parts, so I just pull the screws and put it in. I don't care. I just don't. I don't really charge anything for that. But sometimes it's losing, it's losing so many screws that that's not. It's not even funny. I always have some bottles to put it, so I'm gonna put it later. I, I put it. I store everything in, uh, in some medication bottles, stuff like that. So, see if I have one here. Yeah, I got one here. 
I got, I got some of those, and those are really good. Because once you close it, you know, I even got some screws in here for some emergence and stuff like that. Okay, once you got your screws out, some screens actually. I pulled from the inside out. You're pretty much like gonna reach inside and you know you're gonna but before you do it make sure you close and look it down because some especially the gateways computer they usually have a, a screw like on the bottom of the hinge here right here and I almost broke a cover one day because I couldn't see the screw and until I find out I almost broke the bezel actually I was trying to take the bezel off so this is called the bezel, this is the black part holding the screen. Okay, so, so what you do is you, you, you usually, usually you go just slow, just try one side, try the other, you know, usually they, it's supposed to pop out pretty good. Not always, but I don't think they have much choice, so it had to come out if it's not coming out what you can do is like with the plastic plastic so I have this this is like a screwdriver flathead plastic flathead and you can just go on the side and loose it out like this but every time if you are pulling from the inside make sure you like you pull out but pushing out a little bit you know because most sometimes the locks are kind of they reach from the the outside in you know so you just have to pull it out a little bit this one it looks like it, it sh should be come out, should be coming out like this we'll see like it's a new computer so Bezels are pretty, pretty flexible, but you can break it. <laughs> but it's very hard. I pretty much I don't think I never break one. So I never broke one actually. So that's pretty much it. Open all the way and start to wiggle it out of the out of here. <laughs> but just be careful because the way the, the way they are con the, they're like hooked up down there with on the hinges, you know. Usually this is the part who oh, sorry. Usually this is the part who breaks. It's the less flexible part here. So you know, you gotta just be careful with that. I'm gonna put this aside. This is the bezel. This. And over here you pretty much have your screen. Where you, this is an LED backlit uh, screen. So over here you're gonna see some wires. If you're not really familiar with with this, you'll see some wires. Let's see if I can do something here. Like over here, you see a wire going all the way to the bottom. This is your wireless antenna. Yes, the wireless antenna is on the back of your, your screen. Then over here, you got your camera. Just I don't think you need to mess with that. Usually, the the wire for the camera comes. Uh, attached to the to the wire for the screen so hope not I hope not so it doesn't matter if it is either so if it if for some reason the the ship the board actually the whole thing from the camera comes out don't worry about it just put it back it's fine okay over here you pretty much need to remove 
Uh, I believe it's just like one more or two more set of screws down here. I was thinking I could remove it. Yeah, it won't come down. I need to. I need to take all of them. Didn't want it to. Wish I could just fold it in. Like a lot of people know, the new laptops laptops are coming in with the LED screen. So when you go by, make sure you get in an LED screen. You know. So let me see if it's gonna let it loose. Just gonna put this in. Okay, came out. Actually came right out. Better than I was expecting. Like you can see it over here. Like this what I was talking about. The wire from the camera is really attached to the screen. On the top of the screen. So it's pretty much just glued back here. So what you can do, you can take the wire out. Or you can pretty much just leave it like the way it is and unglue it. But you have to be careful so you don't mess with the wire. So you don't hurt the wire, the, the connection. So I'm doing it. But I don't, actually, I'm gonna take the connection out. It's pretty much just like slide out. Let's see here. Yeah. I'm gonna need something sharper than my my nail. Okay. Now you can see it back. You have to be careful because you still have the wires for the 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 wireless antenna so just don't pull or anything all the LEDs screen had a, a pretty much almost all of them had the connection down here the CFL screen usually have somewhere around up here so you know, anyway, the CFL has a connection down here for the lights, too. So, over here, it's just straightforward. You need to pull the tape. A sticky tape. I hate this tape. You pull it out. Over here, you just have a normal connection that you're gonna slide it out I don't, think, I don't know if you can see it but it's a pretty straightforward procedure <laughs> okay what I do I pretty much glue this whole thing in the back plate here because it's gonna have to wait for and then you glue the tape you see I glue the whole thing here now, you need to take the frame out, there's a piece of metal here, you just take it out, you have like the three screws on each side, take it out, they usually different from the other screws, so usually they require a smaller screwdriver which I sh should have somewhere
we got those metal parts which you can store with your other stuff, other parts. <laughs>